Hi, my name is Jennifer Whiting, and I am the musical director for the Glen Ellen Wheaton Chorale. And today I am honored to introduce you to Kevin Lang, who is our new collaborative pianist starting for this fall uh, season. So welcome, Kevin. Thank you for joining me. Well, thanks, Jennifer. It's a privilege to uh, be speaking with you, and I'm looking forward to the season as well. Thank you so much. I uh, just want to take a few minutes to uh, let our singers get to know you a little bit and our patrons who might uh, tune in. First of all, uh, you have served in a good number of churches since the 1980s, I believe. And currently, you and I are both serving in the music ministries at Gary United Methodist Church right in Wheaton. And I want to say that I'm just thrilled to have an, another opportunity um, to collaborate with you in a musical undertaking. So um, I also want to mention that you have studied a number of uh, keyboard instruments. Can you tell us a bit about your background and uh, your training on keyboard instruments? Well, sure. So I have been playing um, keyboards, if you will, for uh, most of my life. Started as a as a young child, um, taking piano lessons from a lady the next block over from where I grew up in River Forest, and um, later. I started taking some organ lessons as well, um, sort of as a imitation of my older sister, because uh, she also played piano and organ. In fact, those were some of my earliest performances was uh, playing piano organ duets with my sister. Um, but from there, I continued to uh, take lessons um, some of them at Moody Bible Institute um, and some at, um, well, out here in Wheaton, private lessons uh, before I went to college and went and studied uh, organ performance and had a minor in harpsichord at the University of Illinois down in Champaign-Urbana. Well, those were uh, four really good years, very formative years. I was very fortunate to study with Gerald Hamilton in his last year's um, teaching at the university. And, um, but then when I started to work in churches um, after college, there were also uh, a number of places that were holding what they called seeker services um, with contemporary Christian music. And it was all about some kind of a, um, a rock band or that version of things. So I also started playing synthesizers um, along the way, purchased a couple, which I've since um, sold or passed on. Um, but so that, that gave me experience with, you know, a, a number of uh, different usages of, of keyboards, both um, piano and harpsichord, synthesizers, pipe organs, electronic organs um, in, in a variety of styles. Hmm. So your first instrument was piano, and then you moved towards organ after that? Yes. Yes. And um, of, of the many genres that I've heard you play, uh, which ones do you enjoy most? What, what genres of music are you drawn to? You know, th there is so much that can be expressed through music that, um, you know, I certainly do have favorites. Um, but a lot depends on what is being expressed or what wants to come out. Um, for just pure love of music, um, I don't think anything for me beats playing Johann Sebastian Bach on the organ. Uh, there's a, a purity of music there that reaches into places nothing else does in, in my soul. Hmm. Um, but on the other hand, and you know, from the, many of my early lessons and experiences playing piano, um, playing or hymn arrangements or improvising um, in a gospel style also is a way of expressing it. And it has some overlap. Um, to my surprise, I find my more and more overlap between contemporary styles and classical styles um, in terms of musicality and, and 
each influences the other. But anyways, the, uh, the, the piano is also a way for me to express some emotion um, that is really idiomatic uh, to a, a hymn style and uh, something that I, I really enjoyed doing. And what would you say you enjoy about, uh, in particular, about the role of accompanist or collaborator at the piano or organ? <laughs> well, that's a great question. Um, given the work we're going to be doing, and I, I can tell you, for one, I do enjoy performing as a soloist, um, but I don't entirely relish it. Um, and what I, you know, as far as a, uh, really committing and building up a, a musical performance with a group, um, to me is, is even better. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, sometimes that's very far in the background. Um, and sometimes that's you know, sharing some of the limelight, if you will. Mm -hmm. But um, from times that I have taught some piano students and um, from a, a few occasions where I have um, had responsibility to direct a choir, it really, it, it thrills me when I see somebody work on music or a group work on music and, and finally get it, you know, whether it is the diction of a particular text or the fingering on some arpeggios um, to see somebody work on something for a while and then achieve mastery and find their own satisfaction in presenting musically. Hmm. I've also noticed, well, I mean, many things about your uh, your musicality through the years. We've been working together for over four years now. And I also know that you enjoy a challenge. I've noticed that when there's new literature, if it's good sound literature, that you kind of love digging into that and, um, and bringing it to life, which makes it a lot of fun to make music with you. Um, and to, to find that interpretation together, I've always just enjoyed that uh, in working with you. I, um, I want to just ask one more quick question, and um, that has to do with the aspect of community. And I ask this because I've heard you comment on this in particular. I know that you value the concept of community, and you and your family um, live in the local community as well. So um, may I ask you to say a word about that? Um, did that enter into your desire to um, to apply for the position with the Glen Ellen Wheaton Corral? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, and, and to start the answer, I'll go back to my first musical job was when I was a student at the University of Illinois, living in Champaign. And my church back home here in Oak Park um, was without an organist. And I would come back every weekend on a Greyhound bus. And I think the ticket was $29 and the church paid me 30. <laughs> so, um, but, you know, so that was my first foray into professional uh, music work. And it was a three hour drive. Um, I haven't had anything quite that far, but I have frequently worked um, with groups or um, commitments that were easily an hour away. And I would see that musical group uh, once a week, maybe twice a week uh, for 60 minutes. And, and that was it. And um, there was definitely friendship, definitely connections that occurred, um, but it was limited to those times. And um, I have been seeking to, to integrate those. And um, so currently serving at a church here in Wheaton, um, it's walking distance from my home. And it just is so rewarding to see congregants. Um, if I go to the grocery store, just walking um, in the streets. And in the same way to have a, a corral that's community-based and you know, as a um, as a musician, I have been 
astounded as I realized how much talent and how much um, musical accomplishment is done by amateurs. We, we all kind of are in awe of those world-renowned artists that are touring internationally. And yet, I think most of the music that's done in this world are done by local groups. And to be a part of that, I think, is, um, is personally satisfying, but it also enriches our community. And I can't think of any reason not to um, support more arts, more music um, in our schools and our community among the people we know. Those are, that's beautifully said. Thank you so much. I, I love that word amateur as well. And um, sometimes that word um, gets a bad rap, but it actually, it's it, the, the Latin root amo is, to, is I love. And amateurs are those who participate because of their love. It's a, there's a purity um, of, um, of participation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those yes. who um, who would who would pay twenty nine dollars for a bus ticket and and only get paid thirty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's what an amateur will do. So um, yeah, thank you for for bringing us those thoughts. Well, Kevin, thanks so much for taking a few minutes to speak with me and um, to share your thoughts um, with our singers. We're just all so blessed and thankful that you have uh, joined us, and we can't wait to get started with you in the fall. So thank you so much. Thanks, Jennifer. I'm looking forward to the year. Okay, me too. Take care. <laughs>